this piece has glued up nicely uh, and it's nice and straight looking so time to reassemble the pedal here uh, I'm going to start with the contactor here so I put all this back together in the correct order that it came out in so that I know what order it goes back together um, so there's all those nuts and then the spring goes in from that end so that these contacts will contact on the carbon in the resistor pack here and now there's a that nut and oh wait oh wait that's the kicker it's all supposed to be underneath that underneath those tabs. That's the key um, there. twisting the screw in there. And make sure that as it tightens, now that it's finally in place where it can work properly. So you have to adjust this screw so that it's touching there and then when the foot pedal draws it out then that piece has to bridge the contacts in the front of the resistor. So, there. Hey. I'm gonna guess that's sort of where it lives for now. And then, oh. Put this nut in place. Resistor This just needs to be tight enough 
These just need to be snug. Like, they're going through... through the ceramic resistor and into brass eyelets, so there's not much room in the way of... Yeah, not much room for them to... Take the screws out of the bottom. There. Okay. And then. That's too far on there. Get some more. lever there reconnected and this uh, pedal is missing the plugs on the bottom here and this uh, the way this pedal is designed uh, this metal section here can have live voltage on it, so those two screws need to have something covering them. Um, so I guess I'm going to have to put um, a piece of electrical tape or something on here. Uh, maybe I'll use sealant so that the electrical tape won't come off, because the electrical tape will just come off there pretty easily. Um, I don't really know that this that would have to come out of here very often, but okay, so I may have guessed right for what to do because eh. what we want is a lot you know full motion there and then pushing on those tabs. I think this needs to go further down that shaft. So I'm gonna have to screw that whole thing in and then the there can get flipped out and popped in like that. in this some more and see yeah maybe that's it all right and then that is a lock nut in there so I don't have a of course that came right off when it was getting removed that lock nut in there, but I'm gonna have to find the wrench to tighten that up because this needs to stay square there. But I can put this retainer clip back in place, and that retainer clip keeps the this nut from popping out of the there. So, all right. Uh, I'm going to find a wrench and tighten that, and then I'm just going to put, and I'll be back to put this together. 
Okay. Uh, so tighten that set screw, and then the button for the pedal goes in uh, with the slot in the center there, and then so I got the pedal slot and the whole thing goes together like that. Um, so. Put our wires back on the resistor here. rubber feet on the four corners and then we'll be able to put the bottom screws back in the pedal there, there. with the feet on the bottom fits in very snugly and then uh, it's best practice when you're screwing screws back into plastic, especially old plastic. Uh, sure, these are self-tapping and they cut their own threads, but every time they cut new threads, just like any other, uh, just like cross-threading metal, uh, they weaken the hold. So when you remove these screws, put them back in, uh, feel as they go in uh, to make sure that you catch the first set of threads that was cut. And that way you won't end up stripping out the hole that the screw was threaded into the first time. So. There we go. And when I push the pedal, it pushes most of the way down and then I can feel the hard push as it connects up with the top two contacts to bypass the resistor. So I think that's set the way it should, uh, but we won't be able to check that until I get the motor rewired. So 